Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for joining me. So we're going to get into it. We're going to do a general reading and see what spirit has for you guys at this time. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribes, shares, views. I really appreciate you guys. I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to get into it and see what's the vibe surrounding my Libras at this time. If you have Libra in your chart anywhere, then you belong here, right? So, we're going to start with the overall energy. I'm going to start with the Moonology deck. Oh, the Wisdom Oracle deck. And see, we have to the sea. So, I feel like you guys are being divinely guided to success, right? This is a seven on this card. Definitely watched over. Maybe you're divinely guided to a soulmate because that was the next card. To success in a relationship with a soulmate, maybe. But let's get into it. Spirit, what is the overall energy you have here for my Libras? Remember, take what resonates. Libra does not on this table, Libra. On this table. On this table. surrounding believers at this time we have both the distance so spirit is wanting you guys to go the distance go after what you want go above and beyond i'm hearing this is a 47 maybe you guys are 47 but a 47 is an 11 right so that's actually like a master number that's like balance right two ones is like balance it also is representative of new beginnings so, Spirit is saying go to distance. Maybe you guys are wanting to start something new or you have started something new. I'm hearing uh, like a bat out of hell for some reason. So, I feel like maybe whatever you guys are working on, whatever projects, whatever business ventures, whatever you're doing, I feel like it's going to take off, right? Like this cheetah is taking off in this car. Off to the races as well. So I feel like whatever you guys got going on, I feel like this you're going a distance and this is gonna um take you to where you really need to be. I wanna pull a book out as well. Maybe someone is wanting to go the distance with you now that I'm listening to this song. Maybe this person was a cheater. <laughs> uh, Sarah's smile is playing. Maybe this person really likes your smile, right? He said baby hairs with the woman eyes. So this person, uh, you can have really nice eyes, very captivating eyes. Maybe you guys uh, have your baby's baby hair out. Somebody wants you to stay. They don't want you to leave. They say you can leave if you want to, but I don't want you to leave. So let's see. Endurance, strength, right? The long haul, like I said. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment co-mingle with opportunities. So there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint, right? Life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. So what is yours is always going to be yours, Libra, right? So Spirit is wanting to let you guys know that. And that you guys have the endurance and strength to go the distance, right? Life is a marathon. Life is not a sprint, right? So everything that you went through, you know, is for you guys. Um, as long as you stay authentic to yourself, staying true to yourself, you're always in alignment. So you'll be able to go the distance. You guys have the strength, right? The endurance, right? Which is like drive, motivation, right? Taking off at top speed, right? You know, like people that run those uh, marathons and shit, it's like they work out there. They have the strength, right? They run real fast, right? So, all right, let's get into the message.
sorry guys for that long pause, but I was trying to see what deck I was supposed to be picking up. Right? Maybe sometimes we gotta take a pause, take a breath so you can hear, right? Maybe for some of you, you guys are actually like taking the time to sit in silence for a minute, right? Meditate, let the answers come to you, right? Like I just did, right? Sometimes you got to pause. And allow the answers to come to you. So let's get into it and see what's going on here. Spirit, what is the messages for Libra sound in this overall energy? What are the messages here? Again, guys, remember this is general, so take what resonates with what does not on this table. We have man holding a heart and patience. So, like I said, um, in divine time, and I feel like you guys will meet a man that heart has their heart out for you, wanting to give you their heart. Again, for some of you, like I said, you could have had an ending with someone. Um, and maybe that was divine timing for this to end. Or I feel like for some of you, you're going to meet someone and you know that will happen in divine timing as well. Maybe after an ending, maybe you are 45. Um, maybe some of you here, you could be 61. Maybe you're born on the 16th. Maybe your birthday is coming up April 16th. But I feel like if you recently split, split from someone that was divine timing and if you whenever you do meet someone is going to be in divine timing and this person is going to love you they're going to be all in right um but just have patience as well and stay true to yourself i'm hearing spirit say i feel like this man holding the heart is going to want to go the distance with you guys they're going to want it to last i'm hearing that keep sweat song make it last forever Look, and he's over here saying, I don't want to be alone. This is, um, there's no need to leave, I think. Oh, this is when the parties. Oh, you, maybe you're going out this weekend. You're going to be partying. Maybe you're going to meet a man holding a heart. Somebody that got a thing for you, right? And they're going to want you to go home with them after the party. Use your intuition and discernment. Be very careful with that, right? Um... Maybe you're going out with your significant other and they're going to want you to come back to their place after the party, right? What is the messages here for my Libras? Thank you. We have happy family. So I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like you will have a stable, happy family, right? In divine time and you're going to meet this man holding a heart and then maybe you guys are going to create your own little happy family, Something that's stable, right? Something that, you know, lasts. Something that goes the distance, right? Maybe you guys have been, like, feeling like, oh, I don't have anyone or I'm not going to meet anyone. And I feel like Spirit is saying as long as you um, remain in your truth, right? Live in your truth, you will attract and be in alignment to meet this person and to have this stable family with this person as well. Maybe some of you are planning a vacation with your family at this time. Messages for my Libra here. What's going on with my Libras? We have appreciation and door the spirit. So I feel like you guys may have just recently, you know, got on your spiritual journey, right? Because that's a five. A 32 is a five. Maybe some of you here are 32. But I feel like you're on your spiritual journey. I feel like you guys are showing appreciation you know, to this new journey that you guys are on. Maybe you're showing appreciation to someone that is bringing you some type of harmony and balance. It could be a feminine energy. Maybe someone introduced you to spirituality. For some of you, it could be a tarot reader, right? Um, Maybe for some of you, it's your mom, right? You want to just show appreciation to your mother. 15 is a 6, which is like a harmony, right? 5, 6. So, yeah, being in alignment. I feel like also with you guys being in alignment, you know, with spirit, with your spirituality, I feel like that's how you guys will end up getting the appreciation that you need. Maybe from this man holding the heart or appreciation that you guys want. But I did say need, right? Everybody wants to feel appreciated and valued, right? But as long as you're doing that for yourself, I feel like, you know, people have no choice but to uh, reciprocate. 
what you're putting out is what you get back. So it's like, if you love yourself and you take care of yourself, then people are going to come in and love you, right? So that's just how it is. That's how it works, right? And then we have uh, financial constraints on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like if any of you guys were feeling some type of way about your finances, I feel like you could have had some financial blockages, but I feel like those are being, you know, lifted. We have a 13, which is a four, right? Which is stability. So again, four, four. So uh, Google angel number four, four, right? We have four, four, five, six, seven. Wow. So again, financial blockages removed, right? Finances stabilized. And then we have Karen connections on the bottom of the deck. So I really feel like a lot of you here are going to meet someone that is going to want to go the distance with you guys. Excuse me, God. Um, you know, and show you love and give you the love that you guys deserve, right? You've been true to yourself. You've been like cutting off what no longer serves you. Only dealing with people who you know is going to add value and bring value. Being true to yourself, seeing red flags, removing it, cutting cutting it off. So, and you guys, like I said in that uh, manifesting new love video, I feel like you guys are actually manifesting new love because you're like loving on yourself, right? Looking at life as a journey, life as a, sorry y'all, looking at life as, you know, an experience, right? Like you got time, right? You're not too old if you, if you're feeling that way, you know, if you're 47 and you're still single, you're probably like, oh my God, time is running out. No, it's not. You're right on time, divine timing. So let's pull some tarot on this. And then you you might also have somebody that's coming back towards you. They said, I'm coming home to you. They said they've been away too long. And maybe this man holding a heart is returning to you after some type of ending. Maybe somewhere else, right? And this is divine time. And we have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. So maybe you guys have been waiting for this person. Look, that he said, I'm missing you, so I'm coming home. Let's see what's going on. I feel like this person is coming in to bring you that stable family life. Maybe this person has um started working with spirit and now they're going to come through and show you guys appreciation, masculine or feminine. Clarify the man holding a heart, please. We have Queen of Wands. It wasn't a reverse, right? So maybe this person in the past, maybe this person was in a very lustful energy. Someone that's very attractive, but someone that's like full of passion and was maybe like all over the place, right? Thotting and bopping. And maybe this person has been working with spirit. And now, you know, things are different. So we have the Knight of Wands. So this could definitely be a fire sign. We got two fire uh, sign cards here, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like it's like the Queen of Wands was is in reverse, but this person is now maybe in the upright, right? Wanting to come towards you fast, passionately. Um, I'm hearing sound, sound the bells. I don't know. Maybe a bell went off in their head. Maybe spirit is working with this person, like I said. This person feels very passionate about you. Or this could just be your energy where you're, you know, really in an ambitious energy, go get an energy, right? Divine timing. You have the three of cups sliding out over here with the Hierophant. So I feel like you guys could be rejoicing in celebration, right? With family and friends. This is coming out for the happy family, right? Maybe you guys are mending family relationships at this time. Maybe you guys are actually, um, you know, again, just getting really connected to the divine at this time, right? But also uh, meditating, right? Doing the work, right? Getting the spiritual guidance that you guys need. Clarify the daughter spirit. Maybe someone is wanting to come and rejoice in celebration and um, have a higher level of commitment with you. 
right? This person that had options, maybe don't they don't have options anymore, and they've been stalking you since you walked away. This also could be like, um, look, I've been on standby. So somebody been on standby waiting for you to call them. They want to catch every teardrop. Clarify the Jordan Spirit. Can I have one for the Jordan Spirit, please? They said, I'll never deceive you like others did. So maybe this is a new person. Or maybe they're just new. Maybe they're renewed, right? They've been working with spirit. Clarify the Jordan Spirit. Clarify the Jordan Spirit, please. We have the star. So definitely you guys have been healing or this person could have been healing, hoping and praying for another chance, right? Or spirit is just wanting you guys to heal, right? Just hold on. Um, maybe you guys are a star. Look, you got someone here now that cares about your needs. So I feel like this is a new person. Or again, this person heal and they're coming back towards you to show you gratitude and appreciation. Clarify appreciation. We have eight of wands. I feel like you guys were going to get some type of communication from this person, whether new or old. This person could just communicate to you that they appreciate, to, appreciate you. They want to give you your flowers. It's like this feminine is holding a rose in her hand. Right? Look, this could be someone from your past. Like I said, with the Six of Cups being here, the Emperor Energy. This could be a soulmate to you, a counterpart, right? After you walked away from this person, it's like you burnt that motherfucker up. Burnt that bridge, right? And kept it moving and went towards your happiness. And now this person is watching you. For others of you, I feel like you guys have been feeling very nostalgic about the past, right? Just thinking about your childhood. You've probably been working on yourself and clearing out your childhood wounds. Maybe if you guys have encountered, like, you know, being in a promiscuous energy or something that happened in your past. I feel like you guys are now in this imprint energy and you guys are moving forward, Right? You're in your boss energy. You're letting go of things that no longer serve you. You guys could actually be studying something, maybe going back to school. I feel like you guys are like focused on something, but you definitely will be receiving a message from someone that could have been stalking you. Um, So let's see. Clarify the Eight of Wands. We have the Devil and we have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like this could have been someone that was very toxic to you guys. Um, and now they're in the Nine of Swords energy, stressed out, wanting to come through, right? But we have this white bird here. So I feel like this person has been working with spirit. Maybe healing those toxic traits they had about themselves. I feel like you guys went from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor, right? You went after your dreams, right? With endurance, going the distance, and you went from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor. Right? You guys are rejoicing in celebration. Maybe for some of you, you're walking away from a friend group or family situation. But I really feel like someone is healing their toxic traits. It could also be you, right? Um, maybe for some of you, um, you communicated something to someone and it had them, had them in a nine of swords. Maybe this king of cups energy. Or you guys are just very loving, right? Very loving, caring, very intuitive. Any other message here from this deck for my Libras? Thank you, Spirit. We have Magician... Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. So I feel like you guys are manifesting wealth at this time. Legacy, right? You guys also could have been manifesting a family situation, someone to be with, someone to spend your life with. Um, I feel like you guys are choosing wisely, right? I feel like you guys also have options when it comes to that as well. We have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So again, someone could have broke your heart, someone that had options, but now 
you put an end into that or this person could have went through a rebirth and now they're seeing things from a different perspective wanting to come through and balance things out with you at this time all right look all i do is think of you day and night so for some of you it's definitely an energy coming through look people change they in you so this person is saying Maybe for some of you, you go to school with this person at this time. They, he said, I can't wait to get to school each day. Maybe you guys are in college. This person seeing you. I regret talking negatively about you to the karmic. I didn't mean any of it. This person said they love you so. Maybe this is someone from your past that was talking about you to a karmic, but they didn't mean any of it. What are the messages here for my leaders? Look, I can't get you off my mind. Think about you all the time. You were my karma. So they want you to know that you were their karma. And then we have take a picture. It will last longer. So I feel like for some of you, you this could be your energy. Like take a picture. It will last longer because this person over here stalking you and shit. <laughs> And you're aware of it. This says, I write you messages and then delete them. I'm afraid you won't respond. So maybe that's, oh, that's why this person is in the nine of swords, right? The eight of wands, they want to communicate with you, but they're afraid. They're writing you messages and deleting them because they don't think that you are going to respond. Let's see if there's any other messages here. Thank you, Spirit. And all they do is think of you day and night. They trapped in their head. Look, nothing compares to you. And then we have your DMDF is easy to control with spell work. Wow. So this person, for some, there was someone they could have been talking negatively about you to a karmic. But this karmic was controlling this person with spell work. This person was doing spells on this person. I feel like now they're not able to do that anymore. They're healing from this toxic person or this... You know, if someone was trying to put that negative energy on this person, I feel like they're healing from that. And they just want to come in with a caring connection for you guys at this time. Let's get some moonology as your advice, Libra. We have conclusions all within reach. This person is up at night. They can't sleep thinking about you. The day and night, that's all they do is think about you. What is the advice you have for my Libras? This person is trapped in their head. Trying to figure out how to communicate with you. You have have faith in your dreams. So like I said from the beginning, going the distance, going after your dreams, right? Being in this Knight of Wands energy and then going to the Emperor, right? You guys are having faith. You guys are going after what you want You got with passion, right? With gumption, I'm hearing spirit say. And you went from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor, right? Or you will, as long as you have faith in your dreams. And then we have, it's time to take action. So I feel like spirit is saying, it's time for you guys to take action. Whatever this is that you want to accomplish, it's time. We have new moon in Aries. Like I said, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I feel like now it's time to take the uh, bull by the horns, I'm hearing. And go after the things that you want. This could also be this person ready to come towards you, taking action. So be aware that someone could be coming towards you. Look, be bold and make the first move. So Spirit is saying in regards to your goals and dreams, be bold and make the first move. And this could also just be letting you know that someone is ready to be bold and make the first move towards you, Libra. That has been your reading. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.